Hey, our friend Sarah going to be drawing a saber-toothed tiger. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us because art is always better with... A friend! Yeah, lots of friends like you. You need your drawing supplies, we're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home, like a pencil. We also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. Let's start with our paper horizontal so that we have more room to draw our tiger. We're going to start over here and draw the eyes. We're going to draw a sideways V. I'm going to draw it kind of like this. It's kind of upside down sideways. Then we can draw the front of the eye. Then let's draw the nose and we're going to draw him angry, kind of growling. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line coming out. And then we're going to draw a line coming down for the front of his nose. And then right here at the front, let's draw a curve for the actual nose. Then let's draw the mouth. We're going to start here on the end of his nose, and we're going to draw a line coming back. And then we can draw the teeth. This is the coolest part. We're going to draw a curve coming down and, and to the right. Then we're going to curve back up, but as we get closer to the top, we're going to get further away. Those, those are really long. <laughs> those might be longer than the actual teeth. Okay. <laughs> Let's make it look 3D, and we'll draw another one coming down, matching it, and then right at the end, we're just going to draw another short line coming up to connect. Then let's draw the rest of the mouth. We're going to draw it really big. We're going to come down and then curve forward. And then right here, let's draw his chin or her chin. And then we're going to come back up to the top of our saber-toothed tiger's head, draw the eyebrows coming back. Yeah, that looks awesome. Then let's draw the back of the neck. And I'm going to add some zigzag lines so because they're furry, right? Tigers? Yes. We're going to come back. Then let's draw the jaw. We're going to draw a zigzag line at the bottom of the jaw coming up. And then let's draw the bottom of the neck or the front of the neck. We're going to draw zigzag lines coming to the right. Now let's draw the first leg. We're going to draw a curve. Starts inside close to the neck. And we're going to curve down and then we're also going to curve back. To the right. Yeah, and then we're going to come down further. Then let's come back up and we're going to draw the back of the leg. We're going to start here and we're going to add more zigzag lines coming down. And watch this, towards the bottom we're going to get closer where the ankle would be. Or the wrist, yeah. Probably ankle since they have feet. <laughs> oh, I forgot, let's draw the ear. We're going to draw the ear coming to the right and we're going to have him down like he's aggressive or angry at something. And then we're going to curve down and back up. Let's add more teeth. I'm going to draw more teeth right here at the top. Then we're going to draw the sharp teeth down at the bottom. They're not as long as the top teeth. Okay, and then we can also draw, let's draw the more teeth in the back of the mouth. Let's also draw a tongue. We'll start here and draw an S curve coming forward. So we curve up, back down, and then we can connect it into the teeth. Okay, that looks really cool now. Let's come back here and add the front paw. We're going to draw a curve going forward. And then we're going to curve back up and connect to the back of the leg. And let's add one more toe that you can see on the side. Now let's draw the other front leg so that it looks more 3D. We're going to start here and draw it coming down. And we're going to stop at the same length as the first leg that we drew. Then let's draw the back of the leg. We're going to draw zigzags. And then as it comes down, we're going to get closer to the first line we drew, just like we did over here. All right, now let's add that paw. We'll draw that for curve going forward for the toes. And then curve under for the bottom and connect to the back of the leg. And then that last toe right there on the side. Next, let's draw the belly. We're going to start here and we can imagine the neck coming through behind this first leg, coming out the bottom. And I'm going to draw more zigzag lines. We can change the direction of the zigzags, but I'm also coming up towards the back. Yeah. Then let's draw the first back leg. 
We'll start inside the body and we're going to curve forward and connect to the belly line and then come back further to the right. Then we can draw another diagonal line coming forward to the left. Then let's come up here to the top of our saber tooth tiger or his shoulders. We're going to draw a little bump up here and then we're going to draw more zigzag lines coming to the right. And then as we get back here, I'm drawing it kind of bumpy. We're going to curve down and almost like we're going to connect to this first leg. Yes. And then let's draw another curve coming to the right and then come down to the ankle and we're going to get closer. Yes. And then we can draw the front of the paws. Curve around and connect to the back of the back leg. Then let's add that toe, just like we did on the front two paws. He's only got three legs. Let's add the fourth. We're going to just draw part of it, but we're going to match the same line. Maybe it comes forward a little further. Then let's draw the back of that leg coming forward also. And we get closer towards the ankle. And then we'll just repeat those same steps for the toes and then curve under and connect to the back of the leg. And if we ever go too fast, which I know we do sometimes because we're repeating some of those same steps, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. We're missing something on this foot. The toe line. Yeah, let's draw that little curve. Now what's our saber tooth tiger missing? A tail. Yeah, let's do that. We will start up here, draw a curve coming down and then back up. And then let's start over here and we'll draw a zigzag line, curving, do, making that same curve, and then we'll connect to that top line. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our saber tooth tiger. It looks really cool, except we still need to color it. Yeah, my favorite part. We're gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings also. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Jack, we did it. We finished coloring and drawing our saber tooth tiger. It looks awesome. I love your drawing so much. And I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. That's okay, right? Yes. Because the most important thing is- To have fun. Yeah, and to- Practice. Practice. What else could our art friends do to their drawing? Draw a background. Oh, that would be really cool. You could add more saber tooth tigers. Mm -hmm. You could add maybe other animals that they're hunting. What do we use to color our drawings? Our biannual markers. Yeah. And you can learn more information about these on our website. If you have the same set that we have, our first color was Y315 and we colored our whole tiger solid with that first color. And then the second color we used for the stripes is Y529. Then we also used a pink color, R213 for the tongue. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your saber tooth tigers. We do, and we hope you have fun coloring and also adding a background. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also, be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.